Hi guys, it's your girl, the real SRT, and I am back. I am back, y'all. Back with another one. And today's topic is going to be about Delilah. Those harboring the spirit of Delilah. Now, you know, we talk about um those with that Jezebelic spirit all the time. And yes, these two spirits do have uh, a lot of similarities. But, you know, I consider Delilah to be an assassin. I consider Delilah to be more of a, a psychopath uh, versus, you know, uh, just your typical narcissistic person. I really consider this spirit to be more psychopathic. And you really do have to discern uh, people's motives and um, what's going on behind the scenes with these people. Because there are a lot of psychopaths walking around. And just because uh, they have not been diagnosed uh, doesn't mean that uh, <laughs> they're not out there. So you really need to uh, increase your discernment is what I recommend uh, going forward in this new year. You know, just praying and asking God for more wisdom and uh, discernment to be able to discern these devils. And I'll, uh, t I'll share with you all this uh, real quick story. Um, me and my husband, we was on um, post uh, locally. Um, we was looking for a new laptop uh, for my daughter. And it's like he was on one end looking and I was on the other end looking, just to try to hurry up and get out of the store because it was pretty quick crowded that day and let me tell you it was a delilah working there and i immediately was able to discern this devil and she approached my husband but to her surprise she she thought that he was in there alone but let me tell you what happened y'all so it's like soon as she approached my husband she just ran up to, to him. Hi, can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Listen, lips red, hot, and ready. You know, the, this whole uh, face full of makeup, you can tell, well, at least I can tell that this is what she does. This is what she does to uh, a lot of unsuspecting uh, men uh, especially uh, little young soldiers and troops and things like that, those who lack discernment, you know, uh, she runs up to them pretending like she want to help so much, but in the process, seducing them, you know, out of money, out of whatever else, whatever other resources they may have that she can use them for. And this is the type of chick, y'all, I'm telling you, this is the download I got off of this woman. This is the type of chick that would lead these guys to their death. You know, this is the type of chick that would set a dude up, you know, to be robbed or something. And then later on, you find out that, hey, this person got robbed and, and, was killed behind this female, you know, this is the type female that goes along to set up types, you know, different types of uh, things like that. Or the type female that have some type of deadly virus like AIDS and just normally, you know, continue to sleep with men uh, to infect them. You know, this is that one, y'all. And see, to the average Joe, just walking around, lacking discernment. It's like, oh, you know, well, she works here. You know, that's her job. And, you know, but see, it is, it's always something at work behind the scenes, y'all. And I'm telling you, this is what I discerned and picked up off of this chick. But anyway, my husband immediately said, well, um, my wife is looking for such and such, such and such. She's right behind you. He immediately referred her to me because it's like he already discerned that spirit too. And it's like, there you go, right there. Yeah, talk to her, talk to my wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And let me tell you, when I saw her, 
she saw me. It's like our eyes met. And I was picking, y'all, when I tell you I was discerning everything about this chicken, she knew that I knew exactly who and what she was, I'm trying to tell you. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you ain't Miss Helpful. Well, I thought you wanted to help. I thought you wanted to help. But all of a sudden, you in a hurry, you got to go. You got to go. Well, why you don't want, you ran up trying to help my husband? Well, baby, help me. Come help me. Come talk to me. Talk to me, Delilah. Why you can't talk to me? Miss Helpful, I thought you wanted to help. Come and talk to me. Come talk to me. Help me. But I could just um see the venom, you know, like the evil in her eyes, you know. And it was like it was like anger there that, you know, I spoiled her plans or that, you know, things just didn't go down. Uh, she didn't get her a victim. Uh, uh, Cause baby, it was not going down, not on my watch. But yeah, you know, you just have to be discerning, you know, because you don't know where these dogs are and they are and can be very predatory. That's another thing about this spirit. They are very predatory, you, you know, know, and they have a way about them. You know, a very covert way, you know, to whereas after the deed is done, it's done in such a clean manner to where no one would ever point the finger to them, you know, uh, as being the one who set it up or as being the assassin or had anything to do with this person's demise. That's how uh, well that these people uh, plot, plan, and scheme. They are uh, masters, masters at uh, manipulation and witchcraft and seduction, y'all. You know, like I said, I consider this spirit to be maybe even more wicked than the Jezebel spirit because, like I said, this spirit is more psychopathic okay i'm just telling y'all and the only way you're gonna be able to discern it is by having the holy spirit i'm telling y'all i am telling you right now you need the holy spirit to help you discern these wicked foul spirits in people and you know the thing about delilah She's not necessarily the one that kills you, but she leads you to your death. This is the one that plot and plan and scheme behind your back to ensure your demise, you know. And this is what makes this type of person with this spirit so dangerous, you know. They try to learn your vulnerabilities, you know, so they can use them against you later at a later date. And all the while, you're thinking, hey, that's my friend. That's my best friend. You know, or you're just thinking that this person love you or care about you or have your best interest at heart. But... In fact, these are the very ones plotting and planning and trying to sabotage you the whole entire time while you placing all this trust in them, you know, just confiding in them, you know, telling them you deepest, darkest secrets, all your insecurities, you know, just trusting them, believing that they have your best interests at heart. And it couldn't be further from the truth. I'm just telling you, you guys, 
please, this year going forward, be more discerning, y'all. Be more discerning. Because when I tell you the enemy is getting more craftier and craftier, and you have to be wiser, you have to be smarter, you got to be able to be ahead of the game, okay? So, so be sober, be vigilant, you guys. I'm telling you, you have to be discerning. But that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time. Bye. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos.